Hey, Credit Heroes, today we're going to talk with our newest credit repair millionaire, Robin Shobamaheen. And Robin is going to explain how she went from a dead-end job with a three-hour commute to creating a credit repair business from home that completely paid for itself and has made over a million dollars in revenue. So you better stick around. My name is Daniel Rosen, and welcome to Credit Repair Business Secrets. If this is your first time listening to our podcast, every week we cover industry news, financial tips, and entrepreneurial advice for bootstrapping your business from nothing. This show is essentially a how-to guide for business owners and there's no other podcast like it. So be sure to click on that subscribe button below and get ready to start changing lives. Okay, let's get started. Our guest today is our newest credit repair millionaire. She is here to share her secrets with us. So please welcome to the podcast, credit repair millionaire, Robin Shabamaheen. Hey, Robin, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I got much. your name right? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Welcome and congratulations on hitting the Millionaires Club. Thank you so much. That is huge. I know you have worked very hard to get there. Oh, yes. Yes, it's been an exciting ride. <laughs> well, I want to know everything, but let's start with the basics. Where are you? Well, so I'm located in Northwest Indiana and uh, originally it started in uh, Illinois, which is a neighboring state. But yeah, I'm in Northwest Indiana and we are servicing most states at this point. That's amazing. And and I know you've got a lot of clients and so they're, they're pretty much all over the country. We've got clients in most states. Yes. Yes. I mean, word travels fast when business is good. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, we've, uh, we've got clients in most states. It's, it's uh, I would say that we've serviced well over 2,000 clients at this point. Wow, that is incredible. And now I want to know, what was your life like before credit repair? It seems so long ago now, <laughs> but life before credit repair was going to work, working, uh, you know, it was, the truth is it was a dead end job. There was no growth. In order for me to grow at the company that I had worked at, I would have had to go back to school for four years just to advance because it was, you know, there was just a cap on where you could grow and, and what you could do. And uh, so to just take that and make that your reality, like, so this is it. You know, I'm in my early 40s and this is the best that it gets. Like, it's just, it's just not okay. No way. So, yeah. I was living paycheck to paycheck, having to plan out everything exactly. That's just not what I wanted for my life. Yeah. And you were spending half your day in the car. Yeah, that's yes. So I would uh, on a good day in good traffic, it would be an hour and a half going just one way. And I recall, I think the turning point was when I was in traffic for six hours coming home because there was an accident and all this craziness. And I said, no, okay, so this isn't going to work. This is not the life that I want to see myself living, go to work just to cook, go to bed, you know, same thing. It's not okay. <laughs> what specifically happened that gave you that spark to change your life? Yeah. So one day I was at work and I just, I, I'm calling it a panic attack. I had a panic attack. I was sitting in my car and all of a sudden just, Everything that I thought was my normal and it was okay just was no longer okay. And so I thought about it and I said, you know, I'm not the type of person that's just going to sit and, you know, just accept this situation. I know for me, I have to do something else. So I started thinking, I said, what is it that I was able to overcome that, you know, that was a problem in my life and credit just kept coming back. And so I said, maybe there's something to this, right? And so all of a sudden, when I thought about that, everything just started, you know, the pieces started coming together. And when I did a little research, I found this software and I'm like, hmm, really? <laughs> you know, so I put this little package together and I called my husband, you know, and I told him, I said, this was on my way home from work. And I'll never forget this, like yesterday, I could uh, remember this. And I called him, I said, you know, I want to quit my job and I want to start a business and I want to do credit. And he's like, slow down, wait a minute. Quit job. That's all he heard, right? And so he's like, nobody's quitting the job. That's not going to happen. So I told him, I said, look, if I can match my income, if I can match my income in the next six months, then are you okay with this? 
And he said, and I asked him, like, do you trust me? And he said, yes, I trust you. Let's see what happens. And in six months to that day, my job was in my way. So I'm like, I am out of here. It is over. <laughs> Best decision I ever made. Best decision. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. And so you said you had history with credit. Did you have credit issues earlier in life? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And in fact, I thought that 500s was normal, <laughs> you know, and I didn't realize the importance of credit. And when I needed my credit, I couldn't get credit and I didn't understand. I just knew nothing. Like, wow, how did I know nothing about credit? You know, so 500s, couldn't get anything, paying more for everything I wanted. If I wanted a car, I have to put down so much money and, you know, credit cards. I'd only get the bare minimum. And uh, and so once I realized what this looks like, um, I was able to then change my life. So I started uh, researching on credit and what that that whole process is. So I really feel as though I know that I was self-taught. I was my best student. So once I got through that, I know that I can now help someone else. So after understanding what those consumer laws are and what the rules and regulations are, I'm like, what's well, a lot of stuff that wasn't fair that is, is sitting on my reports and I had no idea. And so I thought if I didn't know, there's probably a lot of people who also don't know. And turns out I was right. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's so many people out there needing help with their credit. Yeah. So how did you start to actually turn it into a business? Because that's a big step. It was a big step. It was a big step. And so when I saw that there was this 30-day uh, free trial, I said, okay, there. I don't have any money to invest. So <laughs> that means if I'm going to do this 30 day trial in 30 days, I got to have some clients to pay. And oh my gosh, I started that 30 day trial and I got one client. And my thing was every time, if I can get a client, that means I can get another client. And that was my rotation. So in 30 days, I had four clients and it has been on ever since. So the beautiful part about my story is I truly feel as though this is a rags to riches story because I didn't invest anything. And here I am in the Millionaire's Club. This business has 100% paid for itself from the advertising, you know, to the software. The software was everything for me. And so for that, I'm so grateful and thank you <laughs> because here we are. This is amazing. And I'm so grateful for you to come on and share your story. I'm so happy for you. So you were on the free trial of Credit Repair Cloud and <laughs> you knew the end of the 30 days was coming and you started getting clients that month. Yes, absolutely. That's incredible. How did you get those first paying clients? So, you know, I honestly feel like I'm like, I, I could do a commercial on uh, credit repair cloud. <laughs> I am the spokeswoman for this <laughs> because everything that I needed was right there. And so this is what I call a business in a box. Everything I needed was right there completely. And so there is a tab that says, I, I can't remember, but it's something about uh, your return on investment. If you have this amount of clients, this is what it would be. If you follow these steps, that's exactly what it was. And I followed it to the letter, followed it to the letter. And so as I'm looking at these numbers, I'm getting excited. So I'm like, oh, so if I get 10 clients, this is how much I'll have. And all I have to do is this, you know, just based off what uh, that process looks like, it just made it so easy. It's so simple if you just follow the plan. And that's exactly what I did. So, I mean, it, did, it didn't take me long to get to where we are. Four months into this program, I knew for a fact that there's no way I would ever work for anyone else. Is There's no reason to. So I am beyond grateful. I'm so excited. Because of this business, we've been able to venture out into so many different avenues, just things that there's no way I would have ever been able to do. Wow. Well, I, I want to talk about that, but I want to go back a step because you said something really profound. You know, we, we write all the steps there. We make it easy. Just you check off a list. You hear are all the things to do, but very few people actually do them. Most people just kind of dabble. You're really a doer. So I, I, that is really, I, I want to commend you for that because that's amazing. That is really, really, really amazing. And, and do you have a business uh, background? Have you been entrepreneurial in the past? So I've always been an entrepreneur in my head, right? <laughs> so uh, I, I, prior, to, prior to credit repair, uh, 
I would I was working in and uh, sales and marketing. So I understand what that dynamic is. But to be in a business that was truly successful as we are where we are today. No, I didn't have that. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always been an entrepreneur, always. And I always knew that I was not the type of person that could be put in a box to say, this is what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. Not a chance. Wow. Okay. And then now, now that you've grown this business, how has this changed your life? Business is great. Business is great. Um, and what what's really important to me is realizing that I'm helping so many people. That's what feels good. So yes, I'm able to make an income, but I'm making such an impact on so many people's lives. And I mean, it still to this day brings me to tears when my clients call me and they say, you know, thanks to you, I've been able to purchase a house. I'm buying, you know, purchasing cars, big ticket items, things that they didn't think were possible in their life. This is how I'm able to truly give back to my community is by explaining I know where you are. So I'm speaking your language because I've been there and I know what that feels like. So if you look at me and you look at me and say, okay, she's been successful, you know, just based off of what she's doing, that means you can do it too. And so that's what I'm preaching all day, every day. Wow. That is awesome. What was your biggest struggle when you were getting started? I, my biggest struggle, I think, was me because I didn't know how to sh shut off because I was, I am still in go mode and it's exciting. As excited as I was in the beginning, is I feel the same way now. I want to scream credit to everyone who's willing to listen, you know. And so, <laughs> so I think that might have been the biggest struggle to understand that. Okay, you have to slow down. You have to shut down. But I'm excited, so let's talk about credit. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to have that balance. It really, really is. Are Are you working from home or from an office? Yeah, I work from home. I work from home. Um, when I thought about what this business looked like, again, my thoughts were, what can I do that's, that won't cost me so much? You know, I want to do things that make sense. I don't want to invest a whole lot of money um, initially into advertising. I don't want to invest a lot into a brick and mortar. So let's just bring this home. I have no intentions on getting a brick and mortar because that would mean I'd have to get dressed and go out. Now I don't want to do it. <laughs> so everything is from home and my clients love it because they can call me at any point and, you know, just ask questions about things. Yeah. And with Zoom, there's no need for an office. There's no need. There's no need. It is amazing. Now, you you touched on marketing for a moment. Are, are you running any paid ads? Yeah. So in the very beginning, again, um, so I didn't have any money anyway, you know, <laughs> to purchase ads and stuff. So we're talking about free um, ads through Facebook, um, advertising on Instagram, just making sure that the word is out there. My uh, my objective was how can I reach people for the lowest cost humanly possible? And that was if I'm going to be on social media, that means I'm talking about credit. And so every day, consistently to this day, I mean, it was all about credit. So we had T-shirts, I mean, cars that had car magnets. Anytime you think about credit in this area, you're going to think about me, you're going to see my face. <laughs> and this, this was all like virtually free, you know, very minimal cost. How many times are you posting a day on social media? Pretty much, uh, I would say on average, maybe about um, four or five times. Yeah, we're, we are really aggressive. You know, every single, I think just about everyone, we've had 49 millionaires so far. And I think the, all, of all the ones that I've interviewed, I always ask them how often they post and it's always three or more times a day. And, and, and it's been consistent, right? Doing it every single day. And it starts to work, doesn't it? It does. It really does. And I feel as though if people know you're serious when you when you trust and believe in yourself, I had to bet on me in order for someone else to trust what I tell you is the truth, you know. And so, if you go to any of my social media pages, you're going to see me talking about credit. That's it, and travel, of course, because we travel and do disputes. <laughs> now I have to ask. I'm seeing it behind you, and I'm remembering now. You posted that you had a billboard, an actual billboard. And it was that image behind you. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so now I probably have about mm, maybe 10 billboards. We're all over. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's phenomenal. <laughs> so, so billboards work. 
billboards really work. Yes, yes, absolutely. I get these calls and guys, hey, like uh, people are teasing. They say, wait a minute, if you got a billboard, I know you're the real deal. <laughs> They're not free. So, yeah. <laughs> but so um, all the billboards that we have, the business, again, is paying for that. Um, and I'm so thankful to be in the position where things just make sense. You know, I didn't want to feel like I'm reinventing the wheel. I'm just going to follow the process, trust the process because it truly does work. Um, I would say to people out there that, you know, feel like they're not really sure if this is something that they would want to do. You have to look at your life and decide who you are and where you want to be, you know, and if you realize that there's so much more to a, rec you know, to a nine to five. There's so much more to you saying I'm only worth thirty thousand dollars a year. Being in a position to create your own salary, to create your own wealth, there's no reason why you shouldn't give it thirty days. Like, let's see what happens in thirty days, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's really, really good advice. Um, so, initially with your business, it was just you doing everything, right? Yes. And now, do you have a team now? I do. I do. Uh, so. Um, within, I would say, honestly, within the first three months, I, I knew for a fact that, um, that my thoughts were, I'm going to try to figure out a way to get my husband to retire so he can come because I knew where this is going to be. So <laughs> that's in the works right now. But yeah, so we've got a small team of staff that works with us. The great thing is because of this awesome software that I'm using, you know, if, if you follow this system, you don't need that, you know, that large of a staff just simply uh, by the way that you uh, operate, the, you know, the, uh, the software. So we do have a small team. We don't need a huge team at this point. How many are in your team, including you? There's a total of four of us. And you're processing thousands of clients. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is phenomenal. <laughs> Yes. Wow. That it, well, you must have systemized everything. I know you've you've talked a lot about you have a lot of interaction with your customers, right? Yes. It's really important for me. I still feel like I want to be able to connect directly, you know, and they, when they call, they're like, where's Robin? Where's she at? So, you know, I still want to, to have that interaction. Um, can't talk to everybody all the time, of course, but um, yeah, the four of us were able to get things done. Yeah, I can imagine. And now, do you also have any automations to make any of this easier with the marketing or anything? Mm -hmm. We d we certainly do. What are your favorite automations? Yeah, so we have uh, a lot of the email uh, campaigns that go out uh, when people reach out to us. I mean, they were reaching out from all different avenues and. It, when I realized like, okay, this is overwhelming because I have to check messenger and, you know, emails and all this, we have uh, systems in place now where, you know, regardless of how they're reaching out, emails go out to them, requesting uh, certain information. Um, people are able to sign up on their own just from the website alone. So a lot of uh, things are really moving in our favor. Wow. Having self sign up is huge. Yes. It is. That it is, is really, really huge. So, so really, uh, a lot of the, the most of the interaction is once somebody is a client, right? What what does that look like when someone becomes a client? How what are the touch points? How often are you communicating with them? Yeah. So once we, so for example, uh, when people sign up online, it is so funny because I wake up, I'm like, I wonder who signed up today. So you know, you have these e email notifications of folks that have signed up. Uh, you know, we open up that portal, get their information in. And so that's when they would have this uh, time with me to go over what their goals are, what it is they're looking to do. I mean, we're talking about maybe 15 minutes. Not that I'm rushing them, but that's uh, pretty much about what that time frame looks like. Um, and so from there, we are uh, generating their first round of letters that go out. Um, and the most time that we're truly spending on the on the line or through a Zoom call is when we're gathering their information to initially send out those letters. I mean, from there, it's it's smooth sailing, you know, but again, the, the lines of communication are open if they need to speak with us, but it's not always necessary. Some, it's, it's just a good, seamless process. But along the way, 
Are you sending, do you have drip campaign emails to existing clients? So they're always feeling touched. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I believe in making sure that we're constantly, you know, given knowledge and just making sure that they are aware of kind of like the do's and don'ts, um, just keeping them involved in the process in a whole is super important. And, uh, yeah, those drip campaigns go out. Um, I think, uh, if it, if I'm correct, Clients that are, you know, already active clients versus the prospects, they overall are getting a lot of the same information. But again, it's just important that they are in the loop. And that's how we're also obtaining new clients, um, prospective clients. They need to be nurtured. So we're going to send out some information like, hey, think about credit. Look over here. <laughs> now, you said something a minute ago I want to touch back on. You said when you wake up in the morning, you check to see how many people signed up and they're doing self sign up. So you're literally making money while you sleep. Yes. That is amazing. <laughs> it is. It really is. It's, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. You know, and I feel as though when people know you're serious again, that's when they they take you serious and they move forward. Uh, I mean, it's, it's the craziest thing when I'm like, wow, I haven't even talked to these folks and all these people. So this is really nice. <laughs> but yeah, we, you know, we we're up and we get these notifications um, as to who's signing up. And I'll reach out to him like, hey, let's schedule a time to talk. Let's get started. That is fantastic. The beautiful thing about uh, those automations, it just makes it so much easier. There's no limit to the amount of people that can sign up. So that means it that I can have uh, a less amount of staff, meaning I'm able to save more money to do the same work and then some. So it works out very well. Brilliant. And your company, I know you just celebrated your fifth year in business. Congratulations. Um, I want to know, these were some strange years. How how did the pandemic affect your business? I mean, when it first hit, um, I remember because we were in Hawaii and everyone is telling us about this pandemic. And I'm like, oh, it's no pandemic. Yeah, right. Well, it turns out it was, <laughs> you know, but it didn't, it did not affect the business at all. In fact, we got, uh, I wouldn't say three times the amount of clients during the, pan the during the pandemic. Um, I think that the pandemic really opened up people's eyes and realized that credit is everything. So for my clients that were listening to me all the way, I mean, I'm getting emails saying, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. Because had I not been prepared, I wonder where I would be. You know, your their credit was able to kind of leverage them through uh, certain situations, but it it didn't affect us at all. Not in the least bit uh, in a negative way. It what it did was. uh increased our sales big time. Incredible. Good for you. You had done all the work of setting it all up. And then it was like, uh, almost like riding a wave, wasn't it? Exactly. Exactly. And honestly, I mean, it, it was scary to think because I'm like, oh my gosh, here we are. So much going on. What's going to happen? You know, I, I think I went through depression for like 24 hours. And my husband's like, uh, -uh. We did not come this far. You have to trust yourself. Look where we are. So he was right. <laughs> so things turned out very well. I went through that depression too. The pandemic hit and it was so disorienting, like the rug lifted out from under you and the, the grocery stores with nothing there. And, and it just, everything was so freaky. Um, but then we adapted. And I think it, it, it enabled more people to work from home and um, a lot of good came out of it. it rough, rough time. But um, wow, I'm so happy for you that, that it had such a positive effect. I we're running short on time. I'm going to wrap this up by, by, I want to ask you a few rapid questions and I want you to answer with the very first thing that pops into your head. Okay. Okay. What is your business superpower? Customer service all day. Yeah. That's the most important thing. What does business ownership mean to you? It means freedom. It means it that the only word that comes to mind truthfully is freedom. Gratitude and freedom. Definitely. Me too. What drives and motivates you? <sighs> the truthfully, the ability to travel. That is my biggest motivation at this point. I truly feel like I started this business because I want to be able to have the freedom to travel at my leisure. And this business has offered that. 
I saw pictures of you and your husband in Mexico. It looked like you were on the beach working. Were you running your business from a beach? We go everywhere. We are everywhere. We've been to Greece, Dubai a few times. Like we're all over the place. And and they was so funny because I said, I just want to see how many beaches I can dispute on. So I don't even know what number we're <laughs> on. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, what is your definition of success? My definition of success, honestly, at this point is just knowing that um, staying within my means that I am able to live my best life and I'm living life on my terms. And that is really what success means. There's no dollar amount. It just feels good knowing that I'm in control of my life. And that's that's really what that feels like. It, my success is being able to say, this is what I want to do. This is what I don't want to do. That's it. Not having to answer anyone, you know? <laughs> And it must feel amazing to see the impact that you're having in people's lives. It is, it's, you know, it's just such an amazing opportunity. And I'm so grateful. And still to this day, I don't care how many uh, clients that I sign up and process payments, every payment, I'm thankful. And I say, thank you. Really, I truly, truly mean that, you know, so I'm helping you, you're helping me. That's the way I look at it. So awesome. If you could go back in time, and tell yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? Uh, wow. that's a, I, I would tell myself to trust your intuition and trust your gut and bet on yourself because you got this. You know, the old me was, you know, I'm not sure, but the new me, you got this. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I love that. And do you have any other advice for someone who's just starting out with a credit repair business? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the advice that I would give, honestly, is just make sure that you are doing your research. You have to be the expert. Um, be the expert in your field and be sure that what you're conveying is professional. You know, everything that you post online should be consistent with what you're trying to convey and just be consistent with it because people are watching. Yes, they are. Now, what's next for you? Do you have plans to start more businesses, write a book, or what's the next goal for you? Absolutely. At this point, I can definitely call myself like a serialpreneur because we have invested into real estate. We own a 12-unit apartment building with more to come. Um, and I've also opened a loungewear line where I uh, sell onesies. So yeah, I'm like in love with onesies. And so now we're, <laughs> we're selling them as well. Wow. That's fantastic. Okay. One more question. How does it feel to be a credit repair millionaire? It feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to, I want to see what it feels like to be a multimillionaire, but yeah, it, it feels so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I know you're going to be a multimillionaire that is coming. Um, and I have a really, really important question. When we have another credit repair expo, when, once it feels safe and we have another credit repair expo, will you come speak? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I was at the last two and I was so excited. I have to tell you this real quick. So I saw so many men on the stage and I'm like, there's just so many men. They need some women up there. I'm going to be up there one day. I told myself I'm going to be on that stage. So absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> You will it to happen. You call your shot. Yes, indeed. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank you so much for your time today, Robin. This was a lot of fun. Did you have fun? I did. I truly did. Okay, good, good. And congratulations again on joining the Millionaires Club. I wish you continued success. And um, to everyone out there, if you are enjoying this podcast, be sure to click subscribe and uh, just click subscribe so you don't miss any of the inspiring stories, industry news, financial tips, and entrepreneurial advice that we share every week here on the Credit Repair Business Secrets podcast. And if you're feeling kind, do me a favor, write me a review, give me a thumbs up, give me five stars, help us move up the charts, leave a comment or ask a question because I read each and every one of them. And I will see you on the next episode. And until then, be a credit hero and keep changing lives. Hey everybody, it's Daniel again. And really quick, I'd like to invite you to join what I believe is the best thing we have ever created inside the Credit Repair Cloud community. 
and it is a challenge that we call the Credit Hero Challenge. If you're just planning out your business or you're just getting it started and you dream of having a successful business of your own so you can quit your nine to five and fire your boss and have financial freedom or so you can add another revenue stream to your existing business, if that's your dream, you need to get into this challenge. We created this challenge to help you to create and launch your very own credit repair business, to build a proper foundation for a really successful business. This challenge is going to help you to understand the strategy, the tactics, and all the things you need to be successful at credit repair. It really is the greatest thing we have ever built, and it will change your life. So I recommend you do it right now. Stop everything, pause this audio, go online, and go to CreditHeroChallenge.com. That's CreditHeroChallenge.com. And join the next challenge. And there's a challenge that's starting in just a few days. So go get started right now at CreditHeroChallenge.com.